Hey there, grab your coffee and let's talk a business. How to grow it, how to sustain it, and how to harness the wonderful World Wide Web to do it. With me, your host, Jennifer Sikowski. Let's get started. Hello, we are back with a new episode of Rainy Day Talks. I'm Jennifer Sikowski. And I have Miss Joy with me today. Hi. Hello. I'm so excited to have you here. On uh, For those that do not know, Joy is a rock star in the relationship marketing industry. And Joy, just tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do, and about your business. Okay, well, thank you, Jen. It's a pleasure to be on here with you here today. You know, it's so awesome. So, uh, well, anyways, um, you know, my uh, my goal is relationship marketing. I work with a lot of business owners to help them stay better connected with their clients in a very tangible way. Um, not so much online, but you know, a physical greeting card in the mail. Basically, I use a platform called Send Out Cards, is what I use. But my main goal is to educate and to train business owners and professionals how important it is to stay in touch with your clients not on a this is what i have on sale kind of a thing but after the sale you know even before the sale make them feel appreciated make them feel valued make them feel you know more than just another dollar in their pocket so that's really what my goal is that's awesome so how long have you been with um uh, send out cards I have actually been with them for over 10 years. Um, I started basically just using the system as myself with my other business. I'm in the network marketing business. Um, I was in a direct sales business prior. So I kind of use the system as a typical marketing tool. Say thank you for the, you know, thank you for the home parties they would have for me, used it in invitations and everything. But what really turned me around was when I started using the system um, just as a, let's just say hello to somebody. Let's just congratulate for something let's let's celebrate them kind of a thing and when I started doing that is when I started realizing the value of what I had in my hands yes yeah and that's one thing okay for our audience I I've known so I moved to Pennsylvania 2012 I think Miss Joy like if you don't know Miss Joy you live under a rock because Joy is everywhere Joy is like when it comes to networking and building relationships in business, you're the first person that pops up because if I'm talking to someone, they're like, oh yeah, I know Joy, Joy is in that group or Joy is there. I'm like, yep, that's my, that's Joy. So I always say like, when I grow up, I want to be like Joy because of the fact that you know how to connect with people. Mm-hmm. Now, do you think it's, cause I know you were with other organizations before send out cards. Like, how is this one different for you? Oh, because it is about connecting with people. Um, When you take out the component of it's all about me Mm -hmm. and put in the component, it's all about you, you know, the the person you're talking to, it kind of opens up a whole new world for you. And, and really sincerely understanding what people really like themselves is really a key component. And you can't do that if you don't listen. Mm. And, you know, and I didn't do that at first, you know, I was in the, in the network marketing field is where I'm in. And when I was in my first direct sales company, I didn't do that. You know, I was kind of like, okay, you know, I need another party or I need another sale, you know, kind of a thing. You go to networking and so many people look at networking like, okay, what can they do for me? And as soon as you make that shift that it's all about them what happens for you will come to you. Mm. And, um, and like I say, my, my big mind shift was when, when I actually did one time, I'll kind of back up a little bit when I was using the system, you know, I decided one time during the Easter holiday season, you know, during Lent, that for 40 days, I was just going to send three random cards a day, mm. just three random cards a day, like thinking about you or, you know, congratulating you or remember an old time, just something that had nothing to do with my business whatsoever, just totally something about them. And it was fun to do. You know, I would do crazy things like, you know, <laughs> the Wendy's here in my area would always have their employee of the month on a sign and I would copy their name down and I'd go home and I'd go to my computer and I'd, you know, put a a little card together for them and send it to the store saying congratulations and you're just crazy things when you've got that mindset things kind of pop up in your mind 
or pop up in front of you. And But the thing was, I wasn't prepared for the impact those cards had on everybody. Mm-hmm. And I literally was getting emails, text messages. I had two people that called me in tears that that card hit their mailbox on the day that they really needed it. Oh. And that was my big mind shift that like, okay, I got to look at this life a little differently here. You know, it is about everybody else, you know, and uh, that's what, that's when I became an affiliate with my current company, you know, just so I can share this with other people. It didn't take long to realize how much business owners today need something like that. There's mm-hmm. so much competition out there. There's, you know, technology has brought everybody together. You can, there's, you have so much access to everything. You know, somebody could Google your business before they even call you to ask for an appointment. Yep. So you've got to do something different. And that's what, that's what our tangible send out cards does for people. So, you know, um, getting people done, business owners to kind of make that shift and understand what relationship marketing is all about is it's, it's a big winner for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, I want to, there's so many things that I want to talk about for just what you just said. (laughs) So, cause, and I also want to talk about you as a business owner as yourself, Mm -hmm. but first for other businesses, I, I can, I agree. Like I've used send out cards before and I'm a big fan just because of the convenience of that like I could just go online now. I know you have an app, but before it was online and I'd have whatever I needed. And if I thought of something, it could be dropped in there and send out a card. So mm-hmm. the convenience of, but I love like, you'll take photos. Like I know how you work. Like you'll go in what Facebook grab photos. Cause you've sent them to me. And it's always like, those are the type of cards that I keep. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure if I look around in my keep file over here that I have folders of the kids that you're like, Oh, like, mm-hmm happy birthday or like these two are cute, something, but it was something that I just didn't toss them like most cards. Mm -hmm. So I think the impact that you have is huge. Mm -hmm. And for a business owner, like, let's talk about that. Like how, what the best way to connect with potential clients and your current clients is to send them like to touch them, what we call, Mm -hmm. you know, marketing, whether it's email or a physical touch or a call or whatever it may be. So I know that's a big component of your strategy, right? Is cool. talking with business of really promoting to say, how, how are you reaching out to your people? Can mm-hmm. you give us a couple little nuggets or little trade secrets on how? <laughs> yeah, that, I definitely can. That, um, and I have several clients that I actually work with um, where every month, you know, they, they put together a list of their top hundred. And that hundred doesn't have to be clients. It could be potential clients. It could be friends. It could be uh public figures. I mean, it could be people in their life, but their top hundred list. And every month we put together an offbeat card, an offbeat card in the sense of um, Groundhog Day. Um, National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day is coming up on August the the 4th, just heads up. So just something offbeat. And the inside of the card has nothing to do with promoting their business Mm. at all. It just has to be like, hey, happy Groundhog Day. Whether Phil sees a shadow or not, we're here for you, you know, kind of thing. And on the back, you can brand the back of your cards with your business if you choose. So those kind of cards and doing that on a consistent basis and not asking for business business is huge. And my philosophy when I'm working with a business owner is like, okay, for four months, we're going to do offbeat, something different. And then on that fifth month, okay, you can promote yourself. You know, 80-20 rule, that's probably what we we really, we train on that, we teach on that. But 80% of your marketing, if it's on the personal relationship side and 20% in your traditional marketing, that's going to make you successful. And, you know, and I chose Groundhog Day because honest to goodness, this insurance agency, we've been, he's been working with me since September. So we did like a happy fall card. We did like a Halloween card, a Thanksgiving, of course, a holiday. And then he did the, the, the um, Groundhog Day and he got more traction on that Groundhog Day card. Then, you know, and they just wrote me this like beautiful testimony the other day because I'm actually training on this at our convention in a couple of weeks. And it was just like a, a beautiful uh, testimony of what that Groundhog Day card did for their business, you know, and, and brought people. So, but the thing is, they've already, a lot of the people already have policies with this insurance company, but it's not about them. Mm -hmm. It's about how they're making them feel so that when somebody else needs a policy or somebody else needs an insurance agent, 
oh, you've got to go with my buddy here. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got it. That's the kind of, that's the power of relationship markets. Not something that happens overnight. It's not like running a sale and, and, you know, and get 20% off if you come in and see me today. You know, it's, it's building, it's building that rapport and relationships along the way that's yeah. going to turn around and give them the referrals back. Yeah. It's a long-term game. Like it's a it's long-term, long-term building game. relationships because like in our, my business, I'm very fortunate to have uh, like long, I would call them legacy clients, you know, people that we've built relationships and they do come back with you. And those are the ones that you learn the most from, but also mm-hmm. that help you grow. Right. You know, I think right. that's huge. Any way to like to acknowledge them is big. Now I'm assuming you probably do anniversaries, birthday cards. What are some of the other like creative ways have you seen that? Uh, well, you know, actually, you know, you can do any kind of card you want. I mean, our, our, our program has thousands. I mean, like tens and thousands of cards in there. You can just choose sign and, and put it on your way. And by the way, people can do their own signatures and handwriting font. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people, you know, they kind of shy away from anything being done online because yeah. it's not personal, right. you know, well, it is personal. If you can get your own handwriting font and signature in there. And I always tell people to, it's not, it's not how the type of the way something's written, it's a message on the inside. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like you're it, taking time to do a unique card to that individual. Yes, that's, that's exactly big. Right. You took the time to do that, whether it came from a computer, whether it came from an app on your phone, you took the time to do that and yep. you said something personal to them. So, so anyways, um, you know, back to your question on, on, you know, different, different ways. Um, obviously Facebook is, Facebook can be your enemy. Facebook can be your good friend, you know, kind of yep. thing for me. It's a huge friend for me because, you know, I kind of like set myself up on so many a day that I pull pictures from Facebook, put them in a file and I'm going to be sending a card out there. And it's usually a simple, simple, simple little card that says, I, I had to, I had to put this in print for you. It's frameable. You know, our cards are five by seven, so they go in a five by seven frame. So, you know, and and many, many times, I can't tell you how many times people respond back and say, oh, thank you for that card. And it's like, okay, what did I send them? You know, because I just do it. I just do it. I don't do it because I want their business. I do it because it's a kind thing to do. Mm. And you know that when they get that card, you know, I, I have to tell you a funny story because this just really happened this week. I was scanning down through some photos and I come across this photo from uh, five, six years ago, a group of us when I was with my other company and, you know, um, which even though I used to send out cards all the time, I was promoting this other company, you know, and we were on the beach in Puerto Rico and there was like five or six women on these, on these beach chairs and they were all reading the same book. And it was, it was <laughs> the Fifty Shades of Grey book. It was just like hysterical. Everybody in the world was reading this book. I, you know, mm-hmm. and I just like took this picture of, of all, all of the ladies there, you know, kind of a thing. And I come across that picture. So I literally just put it on the card and just had a, something like a caption of like, you know, you know, where the memories will go, you know, or that kind of a thing and send it out to the girls in that, in that card. Now I have not talked to many of them in five years, you know, kind of a thing, but I know I'm just kind of waiting for them to get that card because I know they're going to be smiling. They're going to be laughing. They're going to be carrying on. And, and that's just fun. You you know, um, and by all means, you don't do it just to hear back from people. That's that's kind of like the icing on the cake when you hear back from people. Mm-hmm. You know that when they get it, they're going to be very pleased and, and happy, and it's going to put a smile on their face. Mm-hmm. You know, so I love your heart in this business because you are such one that just wants to give, mm-hmm. and and I love like you know if we take our take a step back, like it's so much better to give than receive. You know mm-hmm. what we've talked mm-hmm. in that old adage, but. I just think it like it shows like right here. I mean, look, look how much you've grown and all the things that you've accomplished. And I just think it's because you continually give how mm-hmm. much can you mm-hmm. give and you do it without even thinking about it. It's just part mm-hmm. of, and I know for some of maybe the listeners out there that it is a mind shift, the mindset shift yeah. on putting the emphasis on others. Mm-hmm. And I know like for our clients, I, I pound that into you right now. There's a big, that's a, that is a, um, a shift in marketing online as well is that most people are afraid of like to giving it away or to giving their information or their, their processes or whatever it may be. And no, 
we're finding that the more that you can give, the more information, the more helpful that you are, the more your customers will lean towards you because they want to work with somebody who cares. Mm -hmm. And I know that's the, that's the, what the bottom line or the basis Mm -hmm. of your business. It's yeah, it is. And, and, you know, and I've done different, uh, you know, read different studies, you know, that the number one human emotion that people need in this world is to feel appreciated. Mm. And doing something just as simple as that is mm. a sign of appreciation, mm. you know, and, and kindness and gratitude. And, and that's, that's huge, yes. you know. Yeah. And it's interesting, even though I'm in this business and have many affiliates and everybody in this business, when I get a special card like that, where they pulled something from me and send to me, I can't help but to smile about it. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's just like really cool that somebody took the time to do that to me. Yes. You know, I do it all the time, you know, but it's when it comes back, it's like, right. it's kind of cool. Right. And like, I love that. So let's shift gears for just okay. a minute. And we're going to pull back from what you do to how you're doing it as a, as a business owner, as you, as the, the head. And let's talk about like your, you run in the business, if you don't mind, pull back the curtain for a few okay. minutes. Okay. And let's talk about this. Cause you know, as Brandy talks, it's we're we, I don't know if you're drinking. I have a, I have a Dunkin' Donuts right here. Shout out. Hashtag Dunkin' Donuts. Um, <laughs> I on the counter over there. So. <laughs> I, let's have a little coffee talk of business, yeah. business owners. But so talk to me about when you first got into this business. Now send out cards. I know. And just being close to you and, and hearing your um, commercials, your business, when we're networking is that they've significantly grown and mm-hmm. they've changed a lot of what they, how they do it. And so with the app coming out and they've really, I haven't even looked into it, but I know that they've streamlined how they send out cards. They're trying to be more digital make it easier for people when they're right. using it to manage their lists and be able mm-hmm. to utilize the system. So for you, Talk to me about that change. And I, I don't know how you worked with social media and like the online world before and how you marketed yourself, but since being with send out cards, tell me a little bit about some of the hurdles that you had to overcome with <laughs> that system or even just like promoting, how do you get the word out? Right, right. Well, yeah, you know, I'll kind of go back from the very beginning, you know, um, when I did start it, when I started in network marketing as a whole, um, probably on the personal side, the biggest hurdle I had to overcome was myself. Um, I did a lot of comparing. I did a lot of, um, you know, am I as good as that person there or why they're doing this? Why can't I do that kind of a thing? So I spent way too much time doing that you know, to realize, you know, it's like, you know, if this is me, when you're an entrepreneur, you can't be comparing yourself. It's okay to have mentors. It's okay to look up to somebody and what they do and follow what they do, but don't get trapped in, in comparing yourself. And, you know, I'm going to kind of, you know, I'll go back to my first experience in direct sales. You know, I had all these young girls and they all looked pretty and they carried their, their, their designer this and their designer that. And I remember saying to myself, that's not me, you know, but yet I, I knew I could be successful. And there was many times I had to step back and just say, oh, I don't care. That's not me. I'm not going to change for what, you know, to fit in with, with the norm, you know, but it was in my head. It was all my head, not, you know, it was just all my head playing those games, yeah. you know, kind of a thing. And then, you know, again, when you're in direct sales or network marketing, you can't be competitive. You know, you're not, you, you don't want to compete with somebody doing the same thing as you That's because good. bottom line is I want everybody talking about send out cards and it's okay if they decide to go with them. I'll still help them because the more people that use it, the more, the more it's out there and more people are, and people are going to do what they want when they want to do it. Right. You know, so you just need to be there when the time comes, but stop comparing, you know, and there are many times, you know, that, you know, even to this day, sometimes when there's different, like different promotions and stuff going on, it's like, how did they do that? And I can't do that. You know, well, it's because it's your head, it's, it's your head trash. Yes. You know, it's your yeah. stuff that's going yeah. on keeping you from it. So probably going back, don't take it personal and don't compare yourself to everybody else because it's your game. You know, it's, it's yeah. your, it's your business. Yeah. And so you just have to decide how you want to do it. How did, how did you 
you said that you had to get out of your head. How did you get out of your head? Because that's a, that's a big part because in marketing and working with online, what's what we talk about? What is your competitors doing? Let's look to see what they're doing, what their best practices and let's, mm-hmm. we do mm-hmm. compare. Yeah. But as a business owner doing the thing, mm-hmm. you can't compare yourself. You can't because right. I right. feel like we talked about Facebook being a good thing and a bad thing. I feel like that's how social media is because we have this mm-hmm. instant access to see beautifully posted pictures, products, staged, right, whatever. Right, right. And it's really hard to get out of that mindset. Right. Yeah. How did you shift your mindset? Personal development, reading, going mm-hmm. to personal development seminars and stuff like that. Um, you know, cause you have to find out who you are, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I, one of the biggest things Cody says to us, uh, you know, the founder of our company says, you've got to find out who you are, who you are so you can give yourself away. Mm-hmm. And so, so that's just something that's actually something I have in my wall, you know, find out who you are, give yourself away. But a lot of personal development reading mm-hmm. and listening to podcasts and stuff like that. And plus going to seminars that teach this Mm. there's so many degrees so many different ways and there's so many people um the law of attraction is huge you know and i was never a big person in the laws but guess what you know they're real and the the law of reciprocity what you give out comes back to you i i can i could tell you times that i've said that 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 has happened to me and i should shake i shake my head and say Damn, that's right. You know, I mean, because it, it does. It just happens like that. So it is a matter of, of fine, you know, just doing personal development on yourself, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you can go to ones that get into really deeper if you want to, you know, kind of thing. And you know, network marketing is an interesting profession because, you know, there's it's, it's one of the biggest professions out there, but yet there's only a small percent that make it. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's because of the personal development that they don't take mm-hmm. themselves through, you know, and, and become a part of that. And I actually, I, you know, one book, which was really huge for me, um, and it was called, um, um, I'm trying to think of the author and exact name, but it had to do with uh, Go for the No. Go for the No. Okay. I've read that. No. And it's like, you know, you want to get people to tell you, no, I'm not interested. So you can go to the next person, mm, you know, and yeah. and sometimes I run challenges with my team like that. I said, how many no's did you get this week? Because mm. the more no's you get, the closer you're getting to your yeses. Right. So it's a mindset. You know, and some it's not a no until they tell you no. <laughs> huh? And it's not a no until they tell you it's a no, right? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, kind of thing. But there was another book that I read that really dug in deep on why you struggle in network marketing. And it started asking questions that went way back in your life, you know? And then I realized my mom was involved in Amway. Okay. And I can remember as a child, <laughs> this is, this is, I can remember as a child, her and her upline getting into this like huge argument one time and my mother quitting. Wow. And it was like that, that was always in the back of my mind. Wow. Because of so competitive, you know, it was a competitive thing. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it wasn't, you know, and, and so, you know, it, it's funny. So pers- the personal development brings those kind of things out so that you can understand yourself better to, to know how you want to. Yeah. To show up, it. to lead, to connect exactly. with other people and yeah. how to do it. I agree. I completely yeah. agree. Yeah. That's exactly. awesome. Let's yeah. talk about competitors because I, I speak that as well within my industry, because there's a dime a dozen web designers, graphic designers, marketers. I mean, I could throw a rock. I'd probably hit five. (laughs) Yeah. 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 (laughs) But I, and that's where like with networking, I took a big step back this year Mm -hmm. and just tried to like really focus in on the business and ours and just making sure that just building the foundation. Cause I'm I'm going through like uh, the book called scalability or scale. No, not scalability. Scaling up. I believe. Scaling up. And, and it's so good because it talks about the plateaus and whatnot. And I'm like, I feel it. Like, this is real. This is not just me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But with competitors, when I'm going to networking and you start sharing and then they start sharing and you feel like that competition rising. And I just want to shake people to say there are so many businesses in this county alone, in this little town alone. There's so much room. And right. I'm I really try to drive home that my flavor, a little rainy day design, our flavor may not be the flavor that you're looking for. So there's, there's no need to competition. How can we help right. each other get ahead? Right. So right. In your in the network marketing, com, like I want to say community or industry, like profession, know, yeah. profession, 
that competitiveness is like huge. How are, how are you trying to change that story or that change that? Well, again, you know, there's enough business out there for everybody. Mm. You know, you kind of touched on it. You know, there's enough for everybody and everybody has their time mm. and everybody is, again, I'll shift back to where it's about them and not about you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that you probably know the rule that, you know, 80% of business is made after the seventh to 12th contact. Mm -hmm. So, you know, go ahead and let somebody else see about website design. Go ahead and let that be their number five. Right. Like, guess what? I'm going to be there. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to be looked at as that person when the time comes to make the decision. Mm -hmm. And again, I'll go back to what can you do to set yourself apart? Yes. You know, I mean, it, networking, you know, every networking event that I go to or any seminar I go to, I know when I walk away from there that there's going to be at least four people that are going to receive some kind of card from me, mm. you know, and it's not going to be promoting joy to send out cards. It's going to be, I enjoyed your speech. You know, I really enjoyed talking with you. I want to hear more. I can't wait to help build our businesses together. You know, Hey, you did a great job at registration, checking everybody in. What a great job you did organizing this event. You know, it's nothing more than that. Mm. And if, if people again, get away from you as your business, and look at what they've just done for you to provide this opportunity for you or the opportunity to meet them for the first time, you could send it to another website designer, you know, and just say simply, you know, Hey, I really picked up a few tips from you today, you know, kind of a thing, you know? And I mean, and you don't do it because of a strategy. You just do it because it's a nice thing to do, but guess what? You are putting yourself in a different place. You are putting yourself in a, um, a, a different place for reciprocity we return to you. Mm, yeah. You know. So. I I love that you're and this, this is huge. You go to networking not to how many people I can talk to to go back and sell to. You're going into how many people who I can bless with a card. How many can yeah. I acknowledge them? That Yeah, like it that is. mindset. I never I've never heard that. I'm not, but yeah, I like it you don't hear that. And yeah. I and you hear people when they give their commercial mm -hmm. something in their life happened, mm -hmm. you know, or some reason you can, you, there's times you can pick up on that and just simply like, Hey, I really enjoyed hearing your story, you know, or I really enjoyed, you know, I mean, just something there, there is, when you have that mindset, there are many times, many times <laughs> I get myself all upset because I haven't sent enough cards out. You know, because I'll write down different things that I want to reach out to this person or reach out to this person. I want to thank them for this. I want to acknowledge that kind of a thing. And you come back and you, you just, you just don't, you know, it's like, it's like on the weekends. I really spend a lot of time on my weekends when I have downtime, mm -hmm. you know, like catching up with my cards. Yeah. Yeah. But it makes yeah. such an impact. I mean, and it's proven because look how awesome you are rocking it in the company. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're it's, welcome. It's, it's, it's those laws that I never thought existed. Mm. They do exist. Yeah. They do. It's kind of like if you go through the drive through and you buy somebody lunch behind you or a coffee or something behind you, you do that enough times and guess what? It's going to happen to mm. you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it does, you know, yep. yes. does. then you just feel like a hundred bucks, you know? Yes. So. Tell yeah. me, cause one of the things that I like to talk about is the fears that hold us back. Do you have something that you be like, yep, like I had to work through this to get to where I'm at? Because you put yourself out there a lot and there's a lot, I feel you have to be very, put yourself out vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so I just, I see, I wonder, cause in my mind, like you, you do all this and you're just a rock star and you just keep on strutting <laughs> and there's nothing that's going to hold you back. But I have to ask, has there been anything in business that you're like, had to overcome or a hurdle that you had to face? Well, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, the, the, you know, taking it personal is, mm -hmm. is really hard. You know, um, a strong person can say something to me in such a way that I'll have, I'll be taken back, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll question, I'll question myself, you know, because I'm not a confrontational person. I'm more of a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. And um, so when somebody confronts me on something personally that maybe I did, mm -hmm. you know, or something I may have said that was taken the wrong way or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I do have to step back and not try to defend it until I've thought it through. 
Mm. You know, because your your immediate defense is to fire back, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. that's not always the right thing to do. You know, it's kind of, I got this like smartwatch and it makes me breathe every so often, but it's also taught me, it's also taught me that in a case like that, take a deep breath, mm. you know, take a deep breath before you respond back, mm. that's you nice. know, kind of a thing. And I think sometimes too, you know, uh, you don't, I don't hear it so much now because I've tried to like overcome this with myself, but um, sometimes you hear so-and-so said this, you know, said you hear a third party, what somebody said about you, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a thing. And well, you know how third party stuff is, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't, you got to take it with a grain of salt anyway, right. you know, kind of a thing. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, it's sometimes hurtful mm -hmm. and you just have to kind of like understand that everybody has a good day. Everybody has bad days. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody yeah. might interpret this way, might not interpret that way, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I will do what I can to make the interpretation the way it was intended, mm -hmm. you know, but sometimes that's hard. Sometimes it's, you know, that's probably my biggest, my biggest that I, that I work with yeah. for myself. And I can't help to acknowledge that because you do all the personal development that you're more self-aware and have right. the tools to work through that. Right, right, exactly. exactly. I feel like this episode needs to be on <laughs> the <laughs> challenge. What yeah, books have you like, read? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and how are you working through? Because I think it's important. Yeah. It's just like you said, it's how you show up and you're able to build those relationships more right. effectively, basically, or right. you're able to handle right. those situations. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Well, My I can't. Can... here now. Hi. <laughs> I, I have just one more thing that I'm just curious. I'm personally just curious about because okay. <laughs> I've been really big on high performance, ha high performing habits and working through like that daily intention. And I can't help it to think that Miss Joy has either daily habits or some things that she has to start her day off with to get herself ready for the day because you send out a lot, right? You send out a lot of joy. Yeah. And, yeah. and so what, what do you do to fill yourself up? Well, <laughs> it's funny. I probably could do much better at this, but I will tell you, um, the, it's a terrible habit that I have. Very terrible habit. I try to keep my phone away from me when I'm in, you know, in sleeping or in bed or whatever, but I will in the mornings roll over, grab my phone and I will start scrolling Facebook mm -hmm. and I will at that point save photos you know, of different things. I see people going on that I want to send a card to, and I will send the cards right then and there, mm. you know? So many of the cards come out before I'm even out of bed and showered in the morning. Um, that's really not such a good habit, but anyways, um, my daily habit, you know, what I do try to do with social media, I have the, you know, 15, 20, 10, five rule. Okay. Um, and I do like to like at least 50 people in the course of a day on Facebook. Um, I do like to in comment at least 20 times in that Facebook. And 10 times I try to engage, you know, like even take them offline into something personal. And then, then there's five times I send at least five cards a day. It's usually much more than that. But I kind of like, I kind of know that when I'm on Facebook, it's like I need to, I want to go through and kind of keep that in the back of my mind. I don't count them, yeah. you know, but I know that, you know, I do that. But my, my downfall is, is I really need to designate times of the day to do that. Mm -hmm. I find myself like when I'm done today, I'll probably like flip right to Facebook and kind of go down a little bit. And then go do something else, you know? And I, I think if I blocked my time better, I would be more productive. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, but that's, that's really what I do and, and try to do. Um, we also, I also have a blog that goes out every Friday morning mm -hmm. on relationship marketing. And I add people to that um, on, a, on a consistent basis. You know, ask them first, of course, and then add them. And so I know that, you know, my my thousands of people are getting my blog every week mm -hmm. or every week. And, and, um, that's you know, something I consistently do. And then of course on Mondays I do a consistent, uh, motivating Monday, you know, FaceTime live, mm -hmm. you know, this kind of like I kicked that off last year and it's like, I was only going to do it for a year. You know, I'm still doing it. So yeah. It's Have you and it, so. and it's good too. <laughs> like on the receiving end, it's good too. 
<laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I definitely I'm trying, to get a little, trying to get more engagement with it, but, um, but yeah, yeah. But it's, it's just doing it, you know? Just doing I, it. Yeah, it is. The FaceTime lines. I tell people all the time, I said, you just got to go do it. Just yep. go do it. Try yep. it. You know, my first time I spent 20 minutes making sure I had the right colors on mm-hmm. and the light was right. It's like, why? Yep. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, didn't I just say before Joy got on with me and we're kind of like, I was just given a prep of what we're going to be discussing or kind of how the flow goes. And it's, this is a very open and casual podcast because I like to see this is a business talk, but a part of it was, I said, we're just going to have imperfect action. (laughs) We're going to (laughs) take, we're just going to take action. It's not going to be pretty for y'all know my first episode, my, my microphone was upside down. So we've, I definitely feel we've come (laughs) long ways in this episode, even just being the first handful. But I I agree you sometimes you just have to hit record. Yeah, hit record and learn from it because it's a starting point. Yep, exactly. Exactly. So goodness, I want to say Jen, you know, and talking with you here today, it's so exciting to see you doing these podcasts. I am sure they're gonna be very successful. You know, you and I do go back a few years when you first moved into this area. And and we kind of like, put our arms around you and, and, you know, but watched you grow and it's been fabulous watching you grow. So very excited to be here and be on this side of you today. (laughs) Yes. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. It's, I love it. I, for all you don't, I haven't even mentioned this, that I've met Joy through a local network, a group called Women in Business. I'm sorry. Yeah. WBN. Women's Business Network. Thank you. And Oh my goodness. Like that chapter, our Laurel Highlands chapter, they're still all like my mom's because I, a little background, I moved from the state of Indiana to outside of Pittsburgh. So that's like 350 miles that I moved my business. And I did some serious hustle to see if it was going to take off here from where I launched it. And I got in with the WBN ladies. They're still like my mom's like just, Uh (laughs) I, I think I like, I mean, and it helped grow my business, but on a personal level, it helped me just have that connection, that group of women that I can tap into of all walks of life of all ages. So Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was a huge blessings. Yeah. So it's been fun to to continue this relationship with you, Joy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been pleasure. And now we're, we're working together with inspired women paying it forward. So that's like been a lot of fun with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Real quick. Can you share about that? Because I personally, I've been looking to get to know more local non for profits in the area. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to set additional like, money. I'm a big believer of tithing. I'm a big believer of contributing and giving. And, mm-hmm. and so when Joy started talking about this inspired women, I thought, oh, like that would be neat because I get to know other non for profits in the area that I may not hear about. Mm-hmm. I have been so blown away by the impact that that has had and just a small part of just me showing up and being able to vote on that has had. Mm-hmm. So can you, will you put a little plug in for Inspired Women? women yeah, fund? absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for this. Um, inspired Women Paying a Forward, we are a philanthropic group of, it's called uh, basically a giving circle. If you've heard of giving circles before, which are like in the last six years have just like quadrupled you know, in popularity here in the United States. But basically, it's a collective group of women that come together to, you know, give to particular nonprofits. The way ours works here in this area, um, which we are the third chapter uh, that started, you know, it's been going on for four years, started up in the Cranberry area by Debbie, Deborah Dron, Dron, Dawn Krasicki and, you know, expanded into the South. Kim Gable from KDK News runs that one. And then I started one here and over here in Westmoreland County last year. And basically what we do is we meet four times a year. Um, and by the way, this only benefits women and girls. Mm-hmm. So um, we provide a place for women to come together. And in that hour, happy hour of networking, what we do is the non the members nominate the nonprofit. They have to be a 501c3 and to benefit women and girls. Twice a year, we do a local nonprofit. Twice a year, we do a global or international nonprofit. And you come in, you nominate what nonprofit you would like to be considered. 
at six o'clock, literally out of the basket, I will choose three. And those three people, those three nonprofits have five minutes to pitch their nonprofit. Usually they know they're being nominated, so there's somebody there to represent, but if not, the nominating person can speak on their behalf. So they literally for five minutes talk about what their nonprofit is, what this money would benefit for them, and you know what it would go to, and that type of thing. After that, the members literally vote on which one of those three they would like their money to go to. The pledge everyone has is that you're gonna be pledging $100 per meeting, $400 a year. And after the voting takes place and we have chosen someone, basically everybody writes their $100 checks to that nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So it happens in an hour, just totally happens in an hour. Mm -hmm. So right, you know, I mean, right, between the three chapters, and this has been going on in this area for four years, over $170,000 has mm -hmm. been donated That's awesome. to nonprofits that benefit women and girls. That's awesome. Now, on, on Jen's behalf and what you were saying, you become knowledgeable about these mm -hmm. nonprofits. Yes. You know, um, yeah, obviously, there's many in our area alone that, that you didn't even know existed nope. and how you can help them. But then on the global and national level, um, international level, it's, it's, it's heart-wrenching, mm -hmm. isn't it, to, to hear how, how women are treated in other countries mm -hmm. and what you know, you, we here have, have got a means to help them in some way to become better you know, better educated basically in a lot of these other countries. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we only meet four times a year. Um, in this area, we meet at Antonelli Event Center mm -hmm. and um, October 16th, I think is our next one. I'm going to know October 15th, Wednesday, October 15th. So for more information on that, um, you know, contact me, you know. Yeah. And we'll put that link in the show notes for That'd sure be great. because I, yeah. I just love it. And it, it's a no brainer because not only it's not just receiving something in the mail or an email asking for help. You sit there and you hear their story and you hear their struggle and what this money's going to. It's a no brainer. <laughs> um, yes, here's, it is. here's my money. Like really <laughs> Let amazing. me help. What can I do? Just, yeah. Cause yeah. you're, it's so raw in being firsthand hearing that story. Yeah. And even though that not everybody can win, you know, mm -hmm. only one wins each quarter, mm -hmm. they can come back another quarter, but those other people have had the ability to give people exposure to their nonprofits. So yes. now you're knowledgeable, you yep. know, now you have it. If you want more information just to help them directly, that's, you know, but it's, 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 it's awesome. scary to hear some of these things that are going on, even on yes. our back door, yes. but it's, mind-boggling to understand what other people go through mm -hmm. yes. you know and we have yes. the ability to provide a space to help yep you took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> that we have the ability <laughs> to help yeah. uh, I whether it's by volunteering or by you know being able to donate yeah yeah awesome. exactly Exactly. Awesome. I like, there's so many truth bombs in this talk. And I think <laughs> I, I just thank you so much for joining me and just sharing oh. a little bit about your story and you in business and how you've overcome that per and developed yourself personally <laughs> <laughs> and how that has been a, a huge discussion topic. I want to say, if you do want to hook up with Miss Joy, her website is carewithjoy.net. And I do encourage you, if you are someone who's looking for a way to, to, to connect with your, not only your, um, current clients, but your potential clients and just people in general family. There's so, I know I, when I was using it, I use it for birthday cards and I use it for oh, yeah. anniversary cards and sending gifts. We didn't even yeah. touch on that of all that yeah. you can actually send. With uh, absolutely. You know, and I talk about the business side for relationship marketing, but on the personal side, if you want to become, you know, if you want to be that better person, mm -hmm. you know, this is the perfect system for you. Yep. It doesn't have to be a business. And by the way, that link, when you click on that, you can actually send a free card on me too. Awesome. So, awesome. awesome. Well, definitely check that out. And Joy, once again, thank you so much for joining us today on my podcast. And I look forward to talking with you again in the future. Always, Jen. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. A huge thank you to Mark at Mark Lavander Productions for sponsoring season one of Rainy Day Talks podcast. I'm very particular who we partner with, and Mark was a no-brainer. Mark does all of our video editing and puts all of the components and pieces together for our YouTube channel and podcast. If you are looking to publish your own YouTube series, podcast, or need photography work, please contact Mark through marklavanderproductions.com.